Hi viewers, namaste. As we have understood the basics about futures market in the previous video, let us see the basics of options market in this video. Options or options contract. Let us define it first. It is a contract which gives the holder of the option the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset from an option writer at a specified strike price prior to or on specified date. The call or put option depends on whether the option holder wants to buy or sell the underlying asset. Confusing, right? Don't worry. This full 14 minutes video is designed just to make you familiar with each and every word used in this definition. So, welcome to the world of get ready. Okay. Understanding options is not so easy. We know that. So, let us start with some common life examples. Let's take a person Let's say his name is Mr. Sunil, our subscriber who commented on our previous Telugu video on futures. Okay, Mr. Sunil has bought a car worth 10 lakhs rupees. He thought of taking an accidental insurance for the car and so approached an insurance company. Let us see the policy terms in simple terms. The validity of the policy will be one year from the payment. Let's suppose the validity is till 1st April 2021. IDV insured declared value is fixed for 9 lakhs. What does this mean? If at all Mr. Sunil's car meets with an accident and even if the car is fully scrapped, insurance company will give 9 lakhs rupees to Mr. Sunil. Well, accidental policy covers for whichever amount is used to fix the repairs. But let us take full coverage for this video. Okay, let us see this from insurance company's point of view. If at all car is met with an accident and is fully scrapped, Mr. Sunil can sell the car to the insurance person for 9 lakhs rupees. Agreed? Policy premium say for suppose 40,000 rupees. That means Mr. Sunil should pay amount of 40,000 to the insurance person to enter into this contract with him. This contract can be called as options contract. In this case, Mr. Sunil is the option buyer. He can be also referred to as option holder. Insurance company is the option seller here and can also be referred to as option writer. The date they fix, that is 1st April 2021, is called expiry date. At present, the price of the car is 10 lakhs, right? This is also called as spot price. And they have valued the car for 9 lakhs rupees during expiry. This is called as strike price. Let us review this again. In this type of contract, the option buyer can sell his asset if he wants to, to the option seller for 9 lakhs rupees and of course, this is valid only till 1st April 2021. Let us see this from option seller's point of view. He agrees to buy the car if Mr. Sunil insists. Of course, other terms should also be fulfilled like fair accident etc. Let us ignore that point anyway. So, he legally agrees to buy the car for 9 lakhs rupees and for this he took 40,000 rupees. In options contract terms, this is called as premium. Think once. If nothing happens to Mr. Sunil's car, Will he exercise his option? That is, will he claim his insurance? No. He has an option not to claim the amount even if his car meets with an accident. Of course, nobody does that. But what I am trying to tell is, option buyer has the right to claim the insurance but he has no compulsion to claim the insurance. In stock market terms, he has no obligation to exercise the option. But that's not the case with insurance company. He should compulsory give the agreed amount to Mr. Sunil. That is, insurance company, the option seller, is obligated to give the money to exercise the contract. This type of options are called as put options. So, to define put option, a put option is a contract giving the option buyer the right but not the obligation to sell a specified amount of an underlying security to the option seller at a predetermined price within a specified time frame. We think you understood the whole definition. Now, on 1st April 2021, two scenarios may happen. First scenario, nothing happens to the car. So, can Mr. Sunil ask back his 40,000 rupees which is paid as premium? No. Second scenario, unfortunately, car has met with an accident and is fully damaged. As Mr. Sunil claims his insurance, insurance person takes the damaged car and gives the insured amount of 9 lakhs rupees to Mr. Sunil. Now, tell me one more thing. Will insurance company pays him 9 lakhs rupees or adds 40,000 premium to? He gives only 9 lakhs rupees, right? So, 
premium is not returnable premium amount stays with the option seller even the option is exercised or not let us check this put options in actual market let's suppose that in reliance options market you are a put option buyer so you have bought and put option of 1000 pe that is for a strike price of 1000 rupees with a premium of 40 rupees and you have purchased one lot which equals to 500 shares of reliance options so as a put option buyer of this contract what is your intention you have given to the option seller 20000 rupees premium and locked a deal with him what for to sell 500 shares of reliance on expiry date for 1000 rupees just think why someone would do this because he thinks that the price will fall from 1000 rupees on or before the expiry date so if the price falls to 900 rupees by that day are you in profit or loss of course profit how you can go to the open market buy 500 shares at 900 rupees and sell these shares to option seller at 1000 rupees so difference of 100 rupees is your profit right no 100 rupees minus 40 rupees is your profit premium is not refundable remember it one more thing to keep in mind is with the decrease in price profit of the put option buyer increases and the same amount is lost for the option seller okay why would option seller take this bet he thinks that price will rise or at least stays there itself by the end of the expiry date so let us suppose price stays there itself or is more than 1000 rupees the price is 1100 rupees so why would the option buyer buys the shares in open market for 1100 rupees and sells the same shares to the option seller for 1000 rupees even if the option buyer has shares why would he sell to this guy when he can sell at more price in the open market so he leaves the premium to the option seller and goes out of the deal so in put options option seller benefits when the price rises or stays there itself his benefit is only limited to the premium amount that is the same amount option buyer loses to the premium amount hope you have understood the put options concept let us see the second type 2 with an example let us take subscriber mr mahipal reddy and mr arun tej mr reddy wants to buy a land and he knows that mr arun has the land outside a town due to some speculation that a national highway six lane road is sanctioned near to this area overnight the rate has been increased from 70 lakhs to 1 crore due to some connections in higher level mr reddy is pretty sure about the news but has some sort of doubt though and one more problem is he doesn't have liquid cash of 1 crore at the moment so he approaches mr arun and says that in 3 months time that is by july 1st i will buy this land from you for 1 crore rupees for trust issues i will give 10 lakh rupees which can be treated as non returnable advance as this land sale is pending from many days because of no buyers mr arun thought of holding this buyer also he is least interested in appreciation rather he is even happy with 1 crore rupees if sold so he happily accepts the offer in this particular contract mr reddy is the option buyer he has bought a right to purchase the asset for rupees 1 crore on or before the expiry date that is 1st july of course with a premium of 10 lakhs rupees mr arun as he took the premium is an option seller and is obligated to sell the land for 1 crore rupees on or before july 1st to mr reddy if he asks these type of options are called as call option contract so to define call option a call option is a contract giving the option buyer the right but not the obligation to buy a specified amount of an underlying security from the option seller at a predetermined price within a specified time frame i will be happy if you get each term in this definition okay two scenarios can happen on july 1st scenario 1 highway may get sanctioned and land rate may shoot up to 1.5 crores so mr reddy meets mr arun and buys his land for 1 crore rupees mr arun must and should sell the land at 1 crore rupees even the rate is 1.5 crores on the open market why because he is obligated to so how much mr reddy spent to own the land of 1.5 crore rupees worth 1 crore rupees right wrong 
1 crore rupees plus 10 lakhs premium he spent. So 1.1 crores. Scenario 2. Highway not sanctioned. So rate has went back to its original price of 70 lakhs. So now will Mr. Reddy buy the land for 1 crore? No, because its value is just 70 lakhs in the open market. As he has no obligation to buy the land, he quits the contract leaving away the premium of 10 lakhs. Why? Because if he thinks of this 10 lakhs, he may end up with losses of more than 30 lakhs, right? Now let us see stock market example of this call option. Let us take same Reliance for example. Think that you are a call option buyer. You bought 1000 CE that is call option at strike price of 1000 rupees. You bought one lot at a premium of 40 rupees. Why did you buy this contract? Because you think that at expiry the share value of Reliance will be more than 1000 rupees. So you can purchase the shares at 1000 rupees itself and can sell in the open market which has high price. For example, think that price at expiry is 1100 rupees. So you buy the shares at 1000 rupees from the option seller and sell the shares at 1100 rupees in the open market. So your profit is 1100 minus 1000 minus 40. So 60 rupees per share. So option buyer's profit increases with increase in price. The same amount of loss should be bared by the option seller, right? Let us see this transaction from option seller's point of view. He may think that the price will not rise or else may also think that price settles at the same price on expiry. That is why he had sold the call option contract. See for example, if the price is 900 rupees, why would option buyer buys the shares at 1000 rupees from the option seller when he can buy the shares at 900 rupees in the open market? Leaves the contract not exercising and leaving away the premium. So how much may be the fall of the price? Option seller is only profited to the amount of the premium and also option buyer loses only the amount of the premium, right? This viewers is all about call options. Now let us check these two options call option and put option keeping side by side. In both these options option buyer is profited if the price of the security moves in favor of his direction. His profit increases with price moving more in his direction and the same amount is lost by the option seller. In the same way, if the price moves against the option buyer, how much may it move more against his direction but he loses only the premium amount and the same amount is gained by the option seller. Lastly, if the price stays where it is, then the option seller benefits and of course the benefit is only limited to the premium amount. So, to revise the bullet points, in any options contract, be it call option or a put option, buyer has unlimited profit but limited risk. Now, seller has unlimited risk but limited profit. Next, buyer of an option contract has the right to exercise but not obliged. Lastly, seller of an option contract is obliged to exercise but has no rights. This viewers is all about options market basics. Crude level basics. In the next video, we will know what is at the money, in the money, and out of the money. Also, in the above examples, we have taken a random premium figure. But how to determine this premium in actual market, we will see in the next video. So, please subscribe, like, and share our video. Also, please write down your opinions in the comment box below. Have a happy, safe, and profitable trading. Jai Hind.